Welcome back. They've gone and done it again, haven't they? They just always seem to do it with this game. So, the development team left a little message for everyone. Agents, with new content being actively developed for the game, our ambition has always been to continue to deliver the best of the Division 2 experience for our dedicated players and newcomers alike. In order to achieve this goal, we have today made the decision to delay the upcoming apparel event, as well as the February title update to a later date in 2022. There's no other time given, that's just it, later on in the year. Not only that, I'm pretty sure the apparel event was supposed to be a holiday one, so having that later, it doesn't make any sense at all. While we understand that this news is disappointing, we strongly believe that this extra time will allow us to continue building towards our vision for the future of The Division 2, as if you haven't had enough time already. Way more than enough for what you're bringing to the table. As we look to restart a more regular update schedule on The Division 2 moving forward, we want to build on the existing content and further polish our next update, core elements, including the new game mode, season narrative and new features. That's all they're bringing to the game by the way. New game mode, season narrative and new features. It's taken them a year so far to work on this and they're still nowhere near done. Due to this delay, this also means that the PTS will be delayed. Rest assured it will remain an important milestone on the new timeline as your feedback is extremely valuable to support us with the finishing touches to the update. To ensure our team will be able to focus all their efforts into this new timeline, we will be looking forward to resuming our communication closer to our new release date. On behalf of the whole team, we'd like to thank you for your continued support and understanding. Stay safe during this holiday season, the Division 2 development team. So number one, bullshit. Number two, even more bullshit. Number three, what the fuck have they been doing for the last year? Delaying not only an apparel event, but the upcoming title update in which they've shown us two intelligence annexes for. At this point, I'm thinking what they've said in the Intelligence Annex is just what they've made up in their heads. That was never actually intended to come into the game. But they had nothing else to show for the time they've spent on this. It's not even just Massive working on this anymore. They brought in Ubisoft Bucharest. They've both been working on it together, and they still can't get shit done. Having a year for a game mode, a season narrative, and new features... And not having it done is unacceptable. We've been waiting for a year with pretty much radio silence. And before people say, oh, no, it's good. The delay in this is going to be more polished. This is massive entertainment. There are still bugs in the game from day one, from beta. And if people think that a year's not enough, in 14 months, Bioware created an entire game minus one mission. Anthem was developed in 14 months. So a game mode, a season narrative and new features does not take this long. The community have been let down time and time again with this game and they continue to do the same thing. They're now saying they're going to restart a more regular update schedule for the game but when it comes to December 2020 they were saying that was the last title update they ever had like they had scheduled forever. They didn't want to carry on with this game. And then all of a sudden something come along. They decided they're going to make this new game mode. And now they want to swing back into it full time. Not only are they working on this. But they're also working on Avatar and a Star Wars game. But what is the point with this? We've had like a majority of the main characters killed off. There's been no content come into it for the last year. What we have got is currently boring. Because there's been nothing new for such a long time. But even before that. They just whacked in a new grind. They've got this expertise thing which is just another grind. What is the point of all of this? A one new game mode is not going to be good enough for any players. There's no new content. They say new game mode but what if you're running the same missions within this game mode? What if that is all it is? Just a different way to play the same missions again? What is the point? In March, this game will be three years old. At this stage, they're better off cancelling whatever they've got planned and make Division 3. It's going to take a lot longer, but what is the point of carrying on with Div 2 if they can't even keep to this timeline? And I have a feeling the gameplay, the game mode that's coming into it, will be 
basically just revamped from what they were going to do to Kenley College. It would be something like that because they were supposed to give us a whole new gameplay sequence and all that sort of stuff with Kenley College. And if I remember correctly, they just turned that into an apparel event because they wanted to refocus it. They didn't actually know what they wanted to do with that game mode. They just never went ahead with any gameplay for it. Then they did a crossover with Resident Evil, which made no fucking sense. I think that might actually be what we got instead of the gameplay. I, I can't remember. But I can't be bothered with this game anymore. What is the fucking point if they're just... We don't even have a time frame in 2022. Just We've decided to delay it until a later date. It could be like October, November 2022. But if you think about it, this is like Ubisoft as a whole. Because Massive Entertainment are obviously a company within Ubisoft. We haven't heard anything on X Defiant. Division Heartland went quiet for a long time and that got delayed. I'll be very surprised if Rainbow Six Extraction actually launches on January 20th. And I can pretty much guarantee when this new stuff does come out, if it ever comes out for The Division 2, it's not going to work how it should. No fucking way. Ubisoft Bucharest have never touched The Division franchise before. And even when Massive were in full force working on the game, they couldn't even do it properly themselves. And it's their franchise. So I don't know, I'm, I'm baffled as well as pissed off because it makes no sense to delay it. They started showing and teasing things that were coming into it. They announced the release date for the trailer, but now absolutely everything's been delayed. I mean, to be fair, they couldn't even keep up with their intelligence annex properly. They waited until the last day of each month for it. And they only had one thing to speak about each month. You can tell that like, if they did actually put any work into this game over the last year, they probably just thought of them ideas. I reckon they don't even know what game mode they want to bring into the game. I bet they don't know what to do with their seasons. They're a bunch of incompetent developers. They've never been able to do anything right with this game. There's been bug after bug after bug. And another thing to back up my point. I did a video months and months ago about the game crashing on PC and Ubisoft did a launcher update to fix the issue. Well, that issue's still happening to this day. A lot of players on PC are crashing all the time. And what have they done about it? Sweet FA. I'm going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments and I guess I'll see you at some point in 2022 with The Division 2. Unless we hear anything before... It could be like June, July, maybe even later in the year. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.